Most professing Christians, ministers, and lay members insist the Ten Commandments are done away, that they are no longer binding on Christians. Repeating what they have heard without seeking proof, they call God's law Moses' law and claim it was abolished by Jesus' sacrifice. So many millions have no idea the difference between the law of Moses and the law of God. Ignorance in an attempt to minimize the Ten Commandments is only required for a limited time have caused most to believe these laws did not exist before Moses received them at Sinai or after Christ died. Is this true? Is this what the Bible teaches? What verses can be examined so you can know? This broadcast presents the truth. Have to, because of necessity, grow together until the harvest comes. You understand? Because while men slept, you understand? While so-called true Christians, you understand? And, and people of, of, of true faith, while they slept, they allowed this false ideology or this false teaching, this false doctrine, this antichrist, this other gospel to be circulated that Christ has done away with the law. But is this true? Is it true that Christ has done away with the law? Well, their Christ, according to their misinterpretation, has done away with the law. Thus, what do we learn? We learn that their Christ is lawless. And if their Christ is lawless, their Christ is not our Christ, that their Christ is the Antichrist. You understand? Know because their Christ is lawless. And we know who the lawless one is. You understand? Know the, the word, you understand, and the world will teach you who the lawless one is. So it's, it's quite clear, and this is all connected to the white Jesus thing and some of these Negroes, you understand, trying to tell us that we shouldn't be about black liberation theology. We should not be about black empowerment. We should not be about the half of the story that hasn't been told to us about our Ethiopian Hebrew identity, that we are really the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are really the missing piece you understand of the puzzle in this equation of what's going on in this world in this evil world that we're not part of that piece of the puzzle you understand that it doesn't matter because jesus has you know come for all of everybody this jesus that they tell us of and you have to notice who this jesus really is so you got to identify who this jesus really is and these sort of folk are not dealing with truth you see, they're not dealing with truth. When we tell them this white Jesus picture, you understand, is a man-made idol, you understand, that has been purposely used to fulfill exactly what Christ, the true Gitachi Jesus Christos, the true Yehoshua HaMoshia warned us about, the true Hawariya the Apostles warned us about, the, 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 the scripture, the true gospel warns us about this other Christ, this other gospel, this other spirit you understand that they would seek to disseminate in the last days so the seeds of so the seeds you understand now christ sows the seed of the true wheat but satan and the lawless one sows the seed of the tears and notice they're both in the same field when you look at the misale the the, the, the parable of getachi Jesus christos the parable of justice christ they both remember he says he told us these misale watch he told us these parables that you have to understand the importance of the parables and especially learn the 30 parables. You understand? But the first of all of them is the sower. You understand? The first, if you don't know what the sower means, you understand? Then all the rest of the parables and the true teachings of Christ and the testimony is, is your mind is blinded. You see, you first have to begin with one. You have to begin with one before you go to two. So we have to begin with the parable of the sower and in the parable of the sower it's very interesting you see because some seeds now fall by the wayside now when you go on in matthew chapter 13 it talks about the the next parable is the there's the tears and we say tears because most of y'all may have grown up in the concrete jungle or the concrete slave ship the projects the inner cities you may not understand what tears is you may think tears mean crying like boo hoo 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 
You understand? Poor little widow me. You understand? I'm crying. No, it's not those sort of, sort of tears. Or well, I'm hurt. I'm in pain. Not that tears. Not tears from your eyes. It's talking about what, what, is, what we say, incredibility. It's talking about weeds. Not, 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 not weeds like, like marijuana. Not, not, not that kind of weed. It's not talking about that kind of weed right there. You understand? I'm talking about herb. Really, that's herb. It's not weed. You see how Satan has mixed everything up? He calls this weed. You understand? But you don't go out in your backyard and smoke weed. You, you know, you get very sick like that. You know, it's really the the herb that they call weed. But that's not the weed that we're talking about as far as the tears. The tears are that those other sort of weeds that grow alongside. You understand? Sometimes the wheat. You understand? So now those weeds are these pseudo Christians or these antichrist deluded Christians those that who have been taken captive by Satan by Diablos to do his will and to continually in spite of the evidence promote on us and themselves and the people you understand of this world the truly seeking Christians is false Christ this antichrist this instead of Christ you always so you have to put this in perspective you understand and we just wanted to make a, a note about this this particular point Especially about the lawless point. You we're gonna to touch a little more on that lawless point, you know, and the law, where you hear these the, the, the these fake ASS so-called Christians talking about that Christ has done away with the law, therefore their Christ is not the true Christ, you understand, is the antichrist because their Christ is lawless. You understand? Christ already says he has not come to do away with the you know the law. Or the prophets, but to fulfill, to fulfill. You see, the problem wasn't the law. The problem is that the righteous precepts of the law were unfulfilled, were unpracticed, and therefore remained unperfected until the Moshia, you understand, until the Christos, uh, until the Messiah, you understand, Yahoshua, was able to, that man child, that that, that son of God, you understand, that was able to come to manifest that God nature in the flesh and therefore restore, you understand, to the Ha'adam, restore to the fallen black male, to the fallen humanity that comes from the black male and the black female, to restore to them the Godhead. You understand, the God mind, not the animal mind, not the animal heads that you see here and there, especially in ancient Egypt, the animal heads. You understand? But to restore the true mind, the true mind of man made in the image and after the likeness of the highest God. Not these gods, but the God that is higher than all of these gods. And who is the God that is higher than all these gods? It is the God of gods. So we have to understand this whole point about the law. You understand when he tells us that the law is done away with. I mean, just practically speaking, you hear Christians will preach on Sunday that the law is done away with. But if they have a parking ticket, they're not going to ignore it to pay it, you understand? Or if they, you know, they go to court, you understand? They abide by laws, man-made laws. So you're saying the, the law of God is done away with. No wonder the number of Christians in the world, you understand, continually increases. Ones who become like one day Christians. Almost like the, 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 the weeds and the tears, how they just sprout up, they just grow up quick fast. But they're unfruitful. See, that's the key right there. But they're unfruitful. You understand? Because they're not from and of the true seed. So we got to know who we be. You understand? And if we be of the true seed, you understand? We have to know, you understand? And be on our guard not to be deceived. You understand? Because when we're deceived, we're dissing the seed that we be. You understand? And, and that seed that we be is our true identity. You understand, as the once lost but now found, Beta Israel, we as the Falashas of the West, we Ethiopian Hebrews, and we as the elect Ras Teferi, we have to know our identity. You understand, and now we have to know that which conforms to that identity. You understand, what, what is that way of life? What is that culture? What is that, that divine heritage? You understand, what do we lose when we lost? Our, our identity, identity. You, you understand, understand that stolen legacy. legacy what, what does it, it comprise of what do we lose and that's, that's what we're going to touch on in the in the, the word of the feed in the future teachings by the help of 
Gita Yesus in the world of Yah, in the world of our So stay tuned for that. Give thanks and praise.